What is going on everybody? It's nothing but skills and today we're going to be showing you how to get all 13 hunter masks. Yes, they have been solved, all 13 of them. There will be a timestamp in the description. Before we go on with this video, we do want to say a big shout out to the Discord Division 2 Secrets. There's a Discord Division 2 Secrets and those guys and girls over there have been working hard night and day to unlock all of these masks. So big shout out to them. If you guys haven't joined them, and you guys want to be part of all those secrets for the division too you should check them out but a lot of their posts are post on reddit so if you don't join the discord you can kind of follow them when they do post on reddit too so let's dive into how to get these masks the first mask we're going to be talking about is the angel mask and how do we get this so the first thing we need to do is we need to find six lion eyes the first one is going to be right here at this resource area so if you look where this resource area just north of the control point the vault that is north of the White House. There is a resource area right here where it has food. So right here, there is a store. So we're gonna go inside. It looks like it's an old restaurant. Once you go inside, there's gonna be a refrigerator there. And as soon as we open up this refrigerator, a pair of lion eyes drop. So this is one of six that we have to get. So just remember that we do have to get five more and you're gonna have to use these later on. The second set of lion eyes are going to be at this donut shop right here called the Donut Shack. I'm gonna show you where it is on the map right now. If you look right where I'm at, another food resource, you see where this um, control point is, New Venice? Right there, there is just to the north of it, there's a Donut Shack. You guys have probably seen this before. If you've done any of the activities, a lot of them end up here. You're gonna head all the way to the back, go all the way to the back where you see how all this blood goes. And to your left, there is going to be a refrigerator. So this is going to be number two that you guys want to get. So grab these lion eyes and there you go. Now you can get these in any order you want. Now the third set of eyes that you guys can pick up are going to be at a control point. Yes, they're going to be right here at the Riverside gas station. Now, I forgot I had my map on Heroic when I was doing this. So instead of trying to clear this out solo, I was like, forget this. I am just going to rush in there. So all I did is I rushed in there, I opened up the refrigerator, and then I grabbed the eyes. If you end up grabbing, if you end up getting killed, then you have to go back or you can just clear out the area. So the next set is going to be right there in that fridge. Now if you died like I died and you didn't end up picking it up, just head back, run back in there, and grab it. You shouldn't have to do this. So honestly, you shouldn't have to do this if you do it on normal. This was heroic, so I didn't want to have to clear out that control point. So the next set of eyes are going to be located right here at this burger spot now there is a safe house the final safe house which is located just south of us and there's also a control point which is going to be left to that so this is just northeast of grand washington hotel look at that you have the fi uh, fallen cranes and then right here you have this food joint right here this is the burger spot inside of course in another refrigerator there is going to be another set of lion eyes so we're getting close guys we're almost finished with all the lion eyes and we're gonna grab this pair right here now the next set of lion eyes are located at this noodle bar so you have district union to our left of stronghold you'll have this water resource area right here and it's on that same street right there so on the street next to the water resources across from it so the, the water resources are right there across from it noodle bar and in the back of course in a refrigerator we're gonna find our fifth set of the lion eyes. So yeah, so we're one step closer to heading to some statues because these, these eyes are gonna activate some statues for us. So we're gonna grab this set right here. So pick up the eyes and then let's go find our final set of lion eyes. Now there is gonna be another restaurant we have to head to and this one is going to be located right here in Constitution Hall. So if you see where Ivory Tunnel um, control point is, in Constitution Hall, it's right here, right down the street. So if you have this one unlocked, you can fast travel there, run here, and there will be a restaurant. You're gonna, if you've never been in here, you gotta open up the doors first, and in the back, we'll find a refrigerator, and then that'll be our sixth and final set of lion eyes. And then now, we just have to go activate some statues. So now we're in front of the statue that we need to turn, you see that little lion statue right there? We need to activate this. So this is gonna be located in Constitution Hall. You see where this outcast key lock box is if you zoom in. You have DCD right here. To my left, I have the nest control point and it's right here. 
right here, right on this map. What you need to do is activate the line. Now this line is going to rotate, and when it rotates, it's gonna show you where you need to go. So wherever it's facing, it's where we need to run. So we're just gonna follow this lion's uh, field division. He's headed straight, and there's a line here. So then this is the second line we have to activate. Now these have to be done in order. Remember, you can do this on day or nighttime. That's really up to you. So now he turned left. So we're just gonna follow this all the way down. Pretty much you just follow it a straight line. Just follow it all the way down and you will end up running into all of the lines. This was pretty cool. Um, the guys over on Reddit are crazy good at figuring this all out. We are getting close. Now the statue is gonna be right above us. And then now we have to hit this one. So we just activated our third statue. So, you know, we should have three more. Now this one is faced all the way to the left, you see behind me. So we're gonna follow this one. And this one's gonna be a little bit of a jog. So just head straight all the way down. So we're actually gonna have to go up these stairs right here. The, the line's gonna be up to the top, you see it? There it goes. So there we go. Now we just have to go all the way up and then activate this line right here. Now this line is going to turn all the way to the left. So that means we need to head over this platform and then go to the opposite side of this. So as you continue running, you're going to know that you run into a mission area, right? Because there is a mission right here, DCD um, headquarters. What you need to do is go around it. So literally go around this and it's going to be located right here the statues on the opposite side of this so i'm just going to show you how to get to it so we're going to cut through the main entrance we're not going into dcd you just cut through just follow this around and i'm keeping this i'm showing you this whole part because i know some people are probably going to get confused on exactly where it's at but yeah, you just run all the way around and we're almost there we are almost there going to be to the left and if we keep going straight just keep going straight on this road right here right in front of us we have our statue once you interact with this this is going to take us to another statue so this one's turning us all the way to the left and you see we went from one point to another so if you're looking for this one this one might be a little confusing follow us all the way down and it should take us to the final statue now this is going to be a little bit of a jog, so you might want to be ready for this one. Um, you're going to have to run a little bit. Once I get to the location, I'll show you exactly where you're going to be. It's going to be a plaza with a main statue on there. So keep going straight. And we should be coming up on it. Yep. So once you get to this little like small construction site here that never got finished, you start seeing like a burning fire and you will see a statue here. Now this is where you guys want to be ready. So if you're going to do this with a team, if you're going to do this part all the way solo, this is when you want to get ready. So this is exactly where it is. You see where the haunted house is? Right here is the final statue. Now remember you have to do these statues in order and you can do this daytime, nighttime, however you want. Now what I did is I ended up calling in a friend so we could do this together to make sure that we can knock out this hunter. So as soon as you interact with the statue, the hunter will spawn. So you interact with them. The statue is going to turn in the direction that the hunter spawns. Turns around. So get in cover. And the hunter will spawn right there. Trap, it should be easy. Just unload all the damage. And that's it. That is how you guys get the angel mask. The next mask I want to show you how to get is the camo mask. So if you're looking at getting this one, this is how you do it. So the first thing you guys need to do is head over to Space Administration HQ. And that's located right here at the bottom right side of the map now you're going to follow this road on the left side of the mission we're not going into the mission we're going to go to the left and there's going to be a room in here you see this little doorway right here we're going to run in this doorway and right here there's going to be a panel for us to activate so it's right in front of us all we have to do is use this touch screen and then lights go out we see the red and then we know uh oh this must be the start of a hunter mask so there you go this is where you guys want to be exactly where I just pinpointed. 
Now the next part is on the north side of the map, so we need to go there. So this is on the north side of the map. If you have the classified assignment, it's right next to it. Once we get to it, I'll show you. There's a construction site north of the map, um, just north of where we were, very, very north. So it's at this construction site. You guys probably already noticed where I'm at. There's a territory control that is taking over, but I don't wanna mess with that right now. I'll clear it out before I have to do the next step. But everything we're gonna do is gonna happen right here. So we need to climb up here. There's a blue tarp um, on a box right there. So you're gonna get on that blue tarp and then you're gonna go up. So the first thing we need to do here is press this button. So I'm gonna show you exactly where we are. So if you look at my pinpoint location, you see Grand Washington Hotel, north of it. We see um, the stronghold, north of it. Exactly right here in downtown East. So it's in this open area. There is going to be a button we have to press. Once you press it, you can look at the lights in front of us. They start to flicker, right? And they're going in order. So we have to figure out how to turn these back on so that way we can spawn the hunter. So you're gonna wanna clear out the area if you have any bad guys like I did. And then we're gonna start the order right now. So you have to do these in order and this all has to be done after 2100. If you try to spawn this before 2100 in game time, you won't be able to. Remember, you can go into your photo mode and do that. And that will allow you to hit that button up top. If not, you just have to wait. So we're gonna go to the first switch, which is gonna be down here on the left side. And this switch right here is gonna activate the first set of lights. So there are a total of six lights we have to do. The next set is going to be right in front of me. So this is number two. Number three is gonna be to the right of this one. So this is number three. Number four is going to be this one right here. And then number five is gonna be way in the back corner. Now there are a few that you're not gonna touch. So if you do touch those, those will reset it and you have to start the lights all over. So this is five and then number six is where we originally were at, right? When we first started, the first one that was right next to us at the very, very beginning, that is number six. You see it flickering, right? So as soon as we hit this one, this is going to make the hunter spawn. And the hunter spawns to the left of me, right? So he's gonna he's gonna spawn right on the platform. There's only one hunter. I was able to beam him pretty quick, and he, it was that that simple. But yeah, this is how you guys get the camel mask. The third mask we're gonna get into is the divide mask. Now this one is probably one of my favorite ones to get, but this is how you do it. So the first thing you guys want to do is head to the waterfront control point. Now once you guys get here, we're gonna head to a memorial that's just to i want to say the east yeah just to the northeast not too far from here right where i pinpointed this this exact location right here so you see the waterfront control point now there's a generator directly behind me and that generator is what you're gonna have to turn on now this must be done at night i want to say probably 2100 around 2100 um look at your if you go into photo mode the top right you can see what time it is so all you have to do is run up to it, you're gonna see, and then it will be active, it will say turn on. If it doesn't say turn on, then you need to make sure you come back at a later time. I, we had to do this a couple times. After that, you wanna head back to the waterfront control point. So after you guys hit this generator, head back to the waterfront control point. So I just wanted to show you the pinpoint location one more time, but head back to the waterfront control point, fast travel there, run back, whatever you need to do. And it's you need to have this one captured for you to be able to do this next part because the next one is gonna be inside the supply room. So this is the supply room when you can capture it. So make sure you have it captured. If you do not have it captured, you'll not be able to get in here. In this back corner, you're gonna see pickup and there's a flag. So we're gonna pick this up. There are four flags we need to pick up. So this is where it looks like on the map. It's in the supply room, just remember that, in the supply room of this. The next one we need to head to is on the opposite side. So it's gonna be on the pier. So not the one with the components, it's gonna be directly across from us. So it's gonna be this one right here. So you see the components? I wanted to show you that as a reference. The next one over is where you're gonna be able to find this. So just head all the way through. You're gonna cut through here and just keep following this all the way down.
Now follow this all the way around. As soon as you come through the gates, just stay on the far right side and you're gonna come up to some like trash, like an area that looks like it has like dumpsters, like just a bunch of trash all over the place. And just search this area. And it's gonna be on your left hand side. You should be it should be right around here. There you go. So I'm gonna pinpoint this for you. And this is flag number two. So you wanna pick this up. That's what it looks like. And then the next one we're gonna be doing is going to be next to a control point. So we already captured this control point. I recommend Celebration Hotel capturing that control point and then fast traveling there. There's going to be a building right next to it. So make sure you guys do that. Now once you get here, the door that you need to get into is going to be locked. So you need to shoot it from the bottom. It's a little hard to see because it's so dark, but if you come out of this area right here and you look up, there is going to be a lock on this door. So one of the guys already got in there, but we shot the lock on this door first. You gotta shoot it. And then to get up there, just head all the way around to the left. You'll see just right there, come back up. There's gonna be a little platform for you to get up. Climb up here, go around. And this door that's usually closed right here, so right next to the blinking light, is now open. And right in the corner, right here, you see the other flag, pick up, and that is number three. So now we just have two more flags to pick up. And this is the exact location where it's at. The next one you wanna do, you wanna fast travel to the food bank. So fast travel there. And as soon as you fast travel, you're gonna come right outside and then it's pretty simple. So just take the rope out. So we're coming out of the safe house, take the, the end at the exit that you can take the rope out and then take a right, sorry, a left. So right here. Once you come out, right in front of us is where we wanna be. So there's gonna be an area, if you've ever been to this area, the, the water is always flooded. And I came to this area multiple times, I just didn't know what to do. So I already pushed this button, I already knew how to do this, I knew how to get the loot in there. But right in the corner, right in the corner, there's going to be the final flag that we need. So this is the fourth flag, the final flag, and now we just have to go back to the memorial where we were. Now once you get back to where that generator was, you probably noticed there was already flags in that area, right? There were flags in that area. So you need to interact with each pole and raise the flags that we picked up. Because there are four flags and there are four poles without flags. So go to the poles that don't have the flags on it and then it's gonna say raise flag. As soon as you raise it, you'll see the flag going up the pole. And then you have to do it four more times. Well, three more times, sorry, because there's four flags. That's two. There's one right there. And then we have one more flag to do. There you go. So we have all the flags up now. Now we just have to hit the generator. As soon as you hit the generator, bit ready, cause you know, you know what's about to happen. So you hit the generator. And there you go. And look what just happened. The hunter spawns. We ended up just blasting them with grenade launchers. And it was that simple. That's how you get this mask. If you guys are looking for the divide mask, this is how you get it. Let's dive into the next one. The next two masks we're gonna get into is the weirdo mask and the drama mask and how you get these two masks at one location. So the first place we need to go to is a Christmas market. It's a, you know, New York City when the when the whole virus happened, it was during Christmas, so there's still Christmas market up. Now, just north of Last Stop and just east of District Union, there's a Christmas market right here where I'm pinpointing. You're going to come in through here, and then right where it says Bar and Greer, there's going to be a present here. So what you want to do is open this present. So when you open this present, you will get a generator key. Now, you need to get two generator keys to get to the next step. So the next key for the generator is going to be located just south of the White House. There's another big, huge Christmas market that's run down there. And there's going to be this present right here. So if you see this nutcracker, he's at an angle. There's a present. I'm just trying to show you general location. So let's go let's scope in. So it's, if you look, DCD headquarters, this is exactly where you want to be. And there is a nutcracker at an angle and you'll see open present. This is where you're going to get the second key. So now we have two generator keys and now we need to head to the generators. So the generators are gonna be located 
right at this holiday market. Like I told you, it's a whole Christmas theme. So we're at another holiday market and I'm gonna pinpoint you where you need to be. Now where everything's gonna happen is right here at the Museum of Art, the Manning National Museum of Art. And it's the build, big, huge building, it's hard to miss. We do have the two Nutcrackers. So the two Nutcrackers, if we look at the map, we're in Judiciary Square and we're just south of District Union Stronghold. And then look right here, this building right here. So this is where we need to be. There's gonna be a generator to our right and then a generator directly across from us that we have to activate. Now the thing about this, you have to do these at night. The first two keys you can pick up anytime, but the generators do have to be at night. That's 2100 in game. So if you go to photo mode, you can always look at the top. You see we're at 2055. So by the time I get over here, it's gonna be 2100. So to press this one, you need to hop over the generator. You can either go around or you can hop over the generator. So just um, hop over the generator. You're gonna see me do it right now. You can go around if you want, but, and then hit turn on. So once you turn it on, you're gonna go directly across. Now the, the second one you're gonna turn on is gonna be the one with the little electronics box. So you're gonna turn on right here. And then we have to follow the cable. You see there's a yellow cable. We're gonna follow this all the way around. We're gonna hit pull the lever. And you start hearing some static. So it looks like something's about to power on. We're gonna go to the other generator. There's another yellow cable. So we're gonna follow this around. Pull it. There you go. And now we're gonna jump over. And then now we're gonna to head to the center. So the platform in the beginning, you see this there's a switch right here. As soon as you hit this switch, get ready because this is when the hunters are gonna spawn. So they, they, they spawn directly in front of you. Doing this in a group really helps out because if you do go down, they can pick you up. If um, these hunters like to disrupt your, your, your skills. So if you go down, it, this just helps you working in a team. So I really recommend you doing this in team. Now these hunters do hit hard and I was running glass cannon on this build. So I just had to be really careful. But um, they're pretty easy to get as long as you guys focus them. If you have enough DPS, they're really about DPS and just being some type of cover. But look how fast he's able to drop. And then I ran out of ammo. And there we go. We were able to finish him off. And that's it. That's how you guys get this mask. That was the drama mask. And then we just have to go back and collect. We have to go back and collect the weirdo mask. So this is how you get both of those masks. And now we're going to get into our next mask. The next mask we're gonna get into is the carbon mask. This one is actually pretty cool, but there is something that you guys need to know. There was a little issue with this one, but I'll explain it in the video. So the first place you need to go to get this mask is this underground tunnel right here, right? So we have the campus, then we have toxic alley, and then right next to it, there is a tunnel. So you wanna get into this tunnel, go down the tunnel, and then follow this all the way down. And then at the end of this tunnel, we're gonna take a right. So once you get to this part, keep going down. And once you can make your first left, well, once you have like this little area right here, this is where you want to get. You're going to see this little box. So this box is what you need to shoot. Now, if you get to your map and that box is black, you might have to do one or two things. Either find a friend who his map has the yellow box or what I did is I had a level 30 account that hadn't gone to New York City yet. I logged on that account, had my friend log on his and then came. Now the next box we need to shoot is this box all the way down this tunnel and you're gonna see that yellow box right there. So that's two boxes. Then you're gonna follow this red doorway all the way through here. So just run through here and we're gonna go directly across where that doorway is over there. So just make your way all the way around. So like I was telling you, if you have a level 30 account that hasn't made it to New York City and is still in DC, you can log on that account, go there, see if there's a yellow box, invite your friend, log out and log into your other account. So I use my alternate account and my alternate account hadn't gone to New York. I don't know if there's some kind of glitch with once you take your character to level 40, sometimes that box doesn't work, but I'm just letting you know that that is what you need to do. Now, once you make it all the way through this door, you're gonna make it to this tunnel right here, another bars and there is going to be a yellow box for us to shoot way in the back corner. So you need to shoot that box. So this is the third yellow box. Turn around and head back the other way. Go all the way down. You're gonna pass a key box on your left, a red door light, 
keep going, and you're gonna take a little right here, and the next box is gonna be up in the corner. So those are all the boxes that you have to shoot. There's four total boxes. Those are the four locations. Now you're gonna make your way back into that main room that had like that we had to cut across to get to this side. So cut back into that room. Now once you come up top, there's gonna be this window that has like a flashing light. You see it? So it's flashing. You wanna make your way all the way through. And just stay on the left side, cut across. And inside this room, there's gonna be something for us to do gonna be right here yep so you see it's flashing light it's gonna say interact with the lever now once you do interact with this lever you're gonna get a boss that spawns the lights are gonna go out black this is kind of scary once you get here and then once you do this you get a big heavy in there just melt him and then once you finish him off go pick up his loot now in his loot he's gonna have a ticket for you it's gonna be the after Dark's museum ticket, if you look at it right there, it says National Building Museum Ticket, and that is the After Dark's building. So we need to fast travel all the way across our map and head to this building right here. Right here is where we want to go. Now, once you arrive to this building, if you go to the opposite side, you're going to see this little sign that says New York City After Dark's sign. This is the door that will open for you. Now, there's a side mission you need to do. That's why this door isn't open. There's a side mission you need to do. So I'm going to show you where this side mission is. So just north of just north of where that entrance that we have to get to, right? Just north of it, right here, there's going to be a side mission. Look where I'm pointing. So you see where I'm located, where this player is located. You're going to cut through this building. Just make your way through. We already grabbed the side mission, but I'm going to show you where you're going to grab it. Go up this rope. If you've already done the side mission, then you don't have to do this part. But you need to do this side mission for that to open up. So once you make it up, just cut through these buildings. And these two people right here, before if you don't grab the side mission, you'll be able to interact with them. So as soon as you interact with them, if you look on the map, there is a side mission waiting for us. And the side mission, look where it's going to point us. So that's where the side mission is, right here. And then now, just south of us, look, it's the entrance to that museum. And this is where you can spawn the hunter. So what we're going to do is you're just going to go down and just run south. Now, like I told you, this side mission, if you've already done it, then that door might already be open. If you haven't done this side mission, because it's a secret side mission that won't pop up, that mission giver has to give it to you. And this was done on a new account, right? Because I told you I had to use my level 30 account to spawn. I brought in my friends, I left and I rejoined them. And then we were able to do it on this account. I'm pretty sure that they're going to fix this and Having to use your other account shouldn't be an issue, um, but right now, having somebody whose account isn't glitched or just using your level 30 alternate account will work for sure. Now, just follow this all the way down. Once you get to the front of this, you have to do part of the side mission. Now, once you get to the front of the entrance, now you're gonna see the door looks open, right? But you have some enemies you need to clear. Um, missing wired scavengers. Remember, if you've already done this side mission, then you don't have to do this. But if you haven't done this side mission, like on my new account, I didn't do the side mission, so I had to clear out these guys. So we're just going to clear out these guys, and then we'll head inside. Just a couple more. And there we go. So everything's clear, right? So now we can go inside the door. We're going to open door, and now we finally can head on in. So follow this all the way around, and make it through to the next area. Once you get to the next area, this is where you're eventually going to be able to spawn the hunter. But the first thing you need to do is clear out this general area right here. You don't have to finish the full side mission. The Finishing the full side mission is not a priority. You don't have to do that. I recommend finishing it after you get to Hunter Mask. But whether you have to do, the, do it now or you do it later, it's up to you. If you already finished it, then you can just wait a second and then I'll show you exactly where you need to be. So just make sure you clear out the area. We are almost done. And right here, where it says find John, this is where you can start the hunter part. So there's a computer right here. This computer is going to spawn the hunter. So instead of continuing on with the mission, all we're going to do is interact with this computer. So let your teammates know if you're doing this by yourself. At this point is when you guys need to know there will be a hunter to spawn. So I'm going to use the keyboard.
Now once you kill him, he should drop you the carbon mask. That was mask six, and now we're gonna go into seven and eight. Yes, they drop in one location. So let's dive into those. So we have the drip and the psycho mask. And we're gonna talk about how to get both of these masks. So we're gonna start this off just to give you guys a reference point. If you guys go to the gate control point, right? The gate control point, and then you see Canal Street right here. You're gonna follow this street all the way down. Just keep going down. On the left hand side, you should see some Christmas lights in between two streets. This is how you guys know you guys are on the right path. You see on the top left, the Christmas lights. Just keep following this all the way down. You see the jewelers keep going down. And as you make your way down the street, just ahead, you should see um, there's going to be a laundry mat right here. UDBG, right? So this is going to be a laundry mat that you need to go into. Let me show you on the map. So we see the gate control point right here. Perfect. You can interact with this door. Continue on through here. So once you get into the next room, you'll see a bunch of washing machines. Now on the second row, there's going to be one that's going to be labeled 23. So you want to interact with that. Now the light should flicker black and then it should go red and then you know, okay, I activated this part. So you see it's red. Now what you need to do is head over to a safe house. So you're gonna head to the residential building safe house. Now once you're there, you're gonna run right outside the doorway and right outside there's going to be, it looks like a garage place. So we're right here, we're heading out of the safe house and then you're gonna have the window right here, you're gonna jump out and then straight ahead, we have the garage right in front of us, right? So it's hard to miss right next to the school buses. There's a garage unit right here. You're going to head to the other side. Now a little hint to let you guys know that you guys are in the right direction. You see all the flickering lights? Kind of um, gives it away a little bit, right? So you can actually just jump over this. There's going to be a door to the left that we need to get into. But we need to jump over this right here. On the back side, there's going to be a little, a little yellow box for us, right? You see it right up there? Just shoot it. And now we're gonna jump back over. You can finish these guys off if you want, if you guys have guys that spawn there, but don't worry about that. We're gonna, you see the little yellow line? That means that we can jump over this side. And then we're gonna continue through. This door is open now. You see the flickering light. You're gonna go all the way to the back and there will be a fuse for you guys to open up. So you're gonna interact with this. There you go. And then the lights went off. So now we need to go back to that laundry mat that we were at, right? So where we first started off. So once you make your way back into the laundry mat, you remember the same room that we were at originally right here is where the laundry mat is in case you guys forgot. You're gonna go right back into this room and we need to interact with the panel on the back. Now there's gonna be a panel that you can throw a fuse box. So just interact with it and then it's gonna allow you to place that fuse in there, right? Now we're gonna go back to the washing machine that says 23 and then as soon as we interact with it, it's gonna drop a key for us. Pick up the key and then head up the stairs. So pick up the key, head up the stairs. And then you see the rooms are labeled 21, 22, 23. Hit 23 and then you're gonna come over here and right on this wall, you're gonna see it says it has some coordinates, right? So this is pretty much the coordinates of where we need to go. We're gonna interact. There we go. For the next part, we're gonna leave out this doorway and we're just gonna follow this road down the down this pathway. So we're gonna take a left up here. So this is the main entrance where we first came in. And we're gonna go down this road. I just marked that, but we're gonna take a right once we get down there. And I'll give you a better pinpoint location once we get there. So just follow this all the way down. Now, once you get to your first street, you're gonna take a right. And if you look up top left, you see that, that, that flickering light? That's exactly where we need to be. We're gonna take a left on that road right here. So just look at the flickering light, the, the, well, the billboard, cut in here. And then above us, above us, there's going to be a little rope for us to shoot. If you notice now in the Division 2 um, in World of New York, there's a bunch of these around. So you got to shoot it. It's going to drop the rope down. And then we're going to head on up.
Now we're gonna continue down this these stairs right here. Go down the ladder, run across this. You can push down these panels right in front of you. And this is where you're just gonna follow us all the way to the end. So just keep going across. We're gonna jump. There we go. Run on up. Keep going, jump over this. You can grab the loot. Now this door right here, for us to get in this door, we have to open it up. But the only way to open it up is to shoot the panel. There is gonna be a panel behind us. Grab the loot while you're here. So follow this. Keep looking. Oh, and look at this, look at this, right here. There it is, just shoot it. There you go. So it's gonna open up a door. Now once we go inside, all you have to do is head to the other room. There's going to be another room in here. Now, if you've been looking for one of the shade techs that you haven't found in this area, it's in this room right here. So that's another thing you can grab. Now, in this room is where we need to be. It says, you see the little sign? It says, come a little closer, right? There's a flickering light. Um, and then there's a burnt body, right? So once you um, go over the body, it's going to interact. And then we just need to leave this room right here. So then you're gonna, once you interact with the body, whether you do the solo or with the group, jump out the window, go down, and then jump down. There you go. And then you're just gonna run all the way around. There are gonna be some burning buildings just down the street. I'm gonna pinpoint it for you. You see this big building right there? It's a high rise. It's been burning the whole time in New York City. So you're gonna, we're going straight there. I'm telling you guys, do this in a group, guys. Do this with more than one player. I tried doing this solo and they ended up hacking my drones. They ended up killing me. It, it was just a nightmare. And then the thing about it is once you do die, you have to find another group to do it. So if you don't do it in time, the hunters will despawn. That's another thing. So if you die, you have to find another group to do it with. So you have to do it on their session, right? So each person can do it on their session and it should work. But if you do it on your session, you won't ever be able to do it on your session, at least right now. Now, once you get over to these buildings right here, there's going to be another body we're going to interact with. Just make sure your team is together. Like I said, I did it once by myself. It sucked. Now, we were lucky enough. There was a hostage situation going on right here. So they ended up helping us out with the hunters. Like they'll help, they'll fight the hunters too. They don't like the hunters. So that was, that kind of helped us out a little bit. So we didn't engage. We didn't clear this out. We left that there. And then we waited for our guys to get together. Now there's right here in front of us, you'll see a dead body. And then you just have to interact with that dead body. So I'm gonna let my teammate interact with them. So he interacted with them. So we backed up. And then two hunters will spawn. So one of the hunters is up there with the guy up top. So we were able to sneak up on the hunter because the hunter was fighting the the, the Rikers that were over here. So he's shooting him in the back. I go, we just put out damage. He's almost dead. Having more than one person, it see because a lot of times what happens is when you try to fight him by yourself, you die. And then this one drops the first mass. And there we go. We get our second hunter mask drip. So mask number nine is neurotic. And this mask looks like a bunch of duct tape taped to a mask, but this is how you guys get it. So the first place you guys want to go to is going to be right here. This building right in front of me. If you look where I'm at, you see where the Christmas market is? Just north of it, on this street right here, you should see this little graffiti on the wall. Then you should see this construction to the right. You're going to run right through the middle. You're going to follow it up to the right. Follow right up this way right here. You're going to climb up this rope. Go all the way around. You're gonna push all the way in through here and head all the way to the back. And right back here, there's gonna be a little switch on the wall. So right behind me, there's gonna be a switch that we need to hit. But the thing is, we need to make sure that we do this within a certain time frame. So the time frame that you guys wanna do this is, is between 0530 and 0700 in the morning. So to do that, just go to your option menu, go into photo mode, and then on the top right where it says battery park, 
it says 0533 so we know that we can hit the switch now so right on this wall right where this light is there's an interact symbol so you want to interact with this so you need to do this in order this is the first step so once you do this we can head to the second place that we need to interact now the next place we need to go to is the Trinity Church um, safe house now this one you can interact between 0700 and 1800 so the Trinity safe house the church safe house is right here right where I'm, I'm showing this waypoint so just look for this safe house right here once you find the Trinity Church go there and there's gonna be a panel that we need to interact with I remember 0700 to 1800 to interact with this panel so just come right here and right in between here you're gonna use this touch screen so you interact with it and that is going to be step number two then the final step we need to do is head to the docks the docks are going to be where we spawn the hunter now once you guys arrive here this is the location that you guys want to get to so once you get here I'd recommend getting on the boat now you have to do this after 2100 so at 2100 you can do it. you saw that we checked the time photo mode and then there's a yellow box at the top we need to shoot you're gonna hear the clock go off and then the hunter will spawn so it's only one hunter so if you're in a two-man team we were running rifle build so we were able to mow him down pretty quick and that's it the hunter was that simple we ended up doing this on challenging you guys can do it on heroic if you want he dropped one item and then he dropped this new mask so now you guys have the neurotic mask the next three masks we're going to get into is the trip lucky paranoid and veil the first thing you guys need to do is head over to these two doors right here because we're going to go inside and the location of this building is right here next to the skyscraper and then to the right of this um this is the trinity church safe house so you want to go to the left of it so north northwest is where you're going to see it there's also a control point north of me and that's kind of the general area you want to go in here and you want to interact with this computer one thing i will tell you guys is if you guys are going to do this on heroic be ready bring a team if you're going to do it on normal hard it shouldn't be too hard so as soon as you interact with this computer the whole room lights up orange the next step is we need to find a christmas tree so you see this x right here that's what you guys should be looking at look where i'm at in between these two buildings you can see the haven safe house just to the right of me but in between these two buildings right here you guys might have seen this the Riker area i'm just going to show you guys one more time just in case you guys get a little confused you're going to cut in here through the left and there's going to be a christmas tree right in front of me what we need to do is shoot the star as soon as you shoot the star it's going to light up and it'll start glowing like that that's how you know you activate it sometimes when you do this during the day it's hard to see you can do this day or night this part does not matter the next step the next step is going to be right in front of what it looks like a food truck right here you're going to see a huge christmas tree on the building and then a christmas tree right in front of it that looks like it's half dead and let me show you the exact location you see the control point to the left of me widow's web right here and there's a tree, christmas tree as soon as you shoot it if you look this tree starts to flicker a little so that knows that we get active like i said if you do this during the day it's hard to see that so just know you just have to shoot it the next tree we have to find is going to be next to the trinity church um safe house so right outside the doors if you come right outside the doors literally right in front of the building you're going to see a christmas tree it's kind of hidden in the dark so if you're looking for it just look for this safe house right here when you look up right in front of us once you shoot it it's gonna light up now the next Christmas tree is going to be right where you usually find a boss we ended up finding a boss here but there you remember one of the boss spawns if you watch my boss locations the one that opens up in this area around this fountain once I kill this I'll show you the exact location if you guys have done that video ever if you guys have looked for the bosses you probably have seen this one so this one is right here there's a main mission to the right Christmas market to the left of me this bowl house right here right in here so you want to shoot this this little tree right here this is the final tree we need to shoot it lights up and then you're going to start hearing a beeping sound right so there's going to be a package we need to open not this this is for ammo on the opposite side right here open present and we get a key then we get all of this smoke right so we know we're on the right path so we grabbed it and then we need a fast travel 
So there is this Christmas market, like Christmas stage that is just south of a control point. And, I, and I'm gonna show you a pinpoint location of exactly where it's at. We need to get to a generator. As soon as I get to the generator, I'll show you on the map. So it was a little bit dark, but don't worry, we'll get some better footage in just a second. So here we go. So right here. So you see the Brooklyn Bridge control point just to the east of it. This is area right here. And then it's a Christmas market. Once you look at it during the day, you'll be able to see it a lot better. But this is the exact location of where it's at. And there is a generator right here. We need to we need to activate. So activate that generator and then we need to go shoot some targets. So before we get into the targets, I kind of want to give you an overview of what we're going to be looking at. So there are going to be a total of 12 apartment buildings. When we zoom in, I kind of want to show you what the apartment buildings look like. Everything around me, those big X's are apartment buildings. So this is building number one to the left of me. Sorry, to the right of me is building two. This is building three. This is building four. And then if we go to the left of me, this is going to be building five and building six. Now all these buildings we need to hit in between a time frame. Then we have seven, we have eight, we have nine, 10, 11, and 12. So 12 different buildings that we're gonna be shooting targets and we have to shoot these targets in the right order. And I'll tell you what ones you have to shoot in the morning and what ones you have to shoot at night. So the first six targets, the first six buildings have to be shot between 2100 and 0530. You can see that by looking at photo mode. So the first target is gonna be right here, the safe house that is building number one. Remember, if we look right outside of the safe house up top, we're gonna to see a target and we're gonna shoot it. If you know you're doing it right, the target will not come back up. So that's how we know. Now remember, building two is gonna to be to the right of that building. So we're in the middle of that building. See where that, um, that supply cart is? Right above us, we're gonna see the next the next one you see it doesn't pop up so that's target number two if we turn behind us this is building number three and it's going to be right above us so that's how you know so building two and three are right next to each other now we need to go to building number four which is going to be to the right of building number three so you have building one two three and four so go directly to the opposite side of this and that's where we'll find our next target we need to shoot so now we're coming up on building number four and we are looking for the target, which we can see it's right in front of us. It's right there. So just shoot it. And then that is the fourth target. We have two more targets we have to shoot before 0530 in the morning. Now the next one is going to be the building right next to the safe house. So right next to the safe house, you're going to find this building. And in the corner, in the corner, you're going to see it's right there. So just shoot it. And that is target number five. Now target number six is the building right underneath it. So pinpoint that and then head there. So for this one, you wanna get a little bit closer. It's gonna be hard to see from a distance, especially since it's at night. So go under the tree. Once you go under the tree, just look straight up and you should see it right there hidden. There you go. So that is the final target you have to hit by 0530. The rest of the targets, the rest of the targets need to be done between 0700 and 1800. So we're gonna start with building number seven. So this is where building number seven is. We're at a, the corner edge of it. And right above me, we can already see the target. If you look at the very top, I'm already looking at the target. So it is time, it's 0700, so we can shoot the target. Let me show you where this is. So we're right at the corner. If we were looking at, if you look at the X, we're looking at the corner of the X. Directly in front of us, the little edge, we'll shoot it. And there we go. So that is the first target. Now we got to get number eight, which is the building right behind us. So this one's pretty easy. All you have to do is go behind you right here. And you're going to see it right in front of you. It's hard to miss this one. So let me show you the X right there. You look up, it's right there in the corner. Boom. That is number eight. Now we have nine, 10, 11, and 12. Four more targets that we need to hit. So for building number nine, you wanna get really close to it. Look how close we are. If you look right here, it's right there. Get underneath the tree and you'll be able to see it. Now for number 10, that one's pretty easy to see. And if you have, um, right now you can see that we have an elite control point, but I was able to just shoot these without them even spotting me. Just go around the building. As you guys come around the building, it's gonna be on the east side of the building. So look where I'm at. It's gonna be right there on the east side. So I'm gonna go around one more time in between the X. And the target 
is right there. So you guys see it? So shoot it. And there we go. Now we just have 11 and 12. So if you come exactly where I'm at, you'll be able to see it. I'm going to show you on the map. It's right behind that little ledge. So you see where I'm at? Directly in front of me where my friend is at. This is where you should be aiming towards. If you look forward, you should see the target. Look for like the yellow tarps, one that's fallen down, and there's one target right there. Now the final target is going to be to our right. Now to get a good shot on this one, you're gonna need to get on the top level. So if there's enemies up there, you might have to clear them out. But take the rope up, and then you'll be able to see this one directly. It's gonna be right there. Shoot that one, and that is a final target. Now we need to head back to that. Remember that generator we went to initially? This is where they are going to spawn. Now, once you guys spawn this, this is the location where it is. You're going to hit this generator. They will spawn, so make sure you're ready. Now, if you're going to do this on Heroic, I recommend having two really solid builds. Um, we ended up doing it on Heroic. We could only kill one of them, and we ended up doing it on his map, which was normal, and we were able to kill all of them. But they are a lot harder to kill when you guys do this on Heroic versus normal. So as you start to kill them, you'll get the Trip Mask. You'll also get an Ivory Key, and you should be picking up your um, next mask, the Paranoid Mask. And then go back and pick up all the other hunter masks. There should be four different hunter masks if you kill all of them. We also have the veil mask, which is going to be this one right here. And then we have the final mask that we need to pick up, which is going to be over here in the corner. And you'll see it. So there we go. We have Lucky. Now that is all 13 hunter masks from Warlords of New York. And it doesn't stop there. You should be having eight off-white keys if you completed all 13 masks. That means we can open up the box that is right in front of the hunters, right? So when you do open up the box, you are going to get a named um, gear piece, well, a named brand set, which is going to have perfect intimidate, which to me isn't anything special. But what you do get is you do get an all black die, all gear black die. And this thing looks really good. Look how good this looks. I became a huge fan of this die once I saw it on my clothes. Look how dark my clothes look, straight blacked out. And I think it's the first die that we ever had that dyed every single piece of item on your gear. So this is really, really cool. So yeah, you get the full blacked out look on any gear piece you want. So you can really look tactical if you're trying to go for that look. But that is how you get all 13 Hunter Masks. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Big shout out to Division 2 Secrets Discord for pulling this off. And um, thank you for everybody who contributed to it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Nothing but skills is out.